Hello there. Welcome to the first episode of St. David Pipes Documentary. Today we have a documentary, a story from my county, Beaver County, Western Pennsylvania. I'm smoking a uh, Parker uh, State Pipe. I think it's from mid 70s, late 70s. Parker State Bulldog. And in it, I have Night Slice from uh, Peter or Eric Stokeby, one of those fellas. Anyway, this is a story from Beaver County, Western Pennsylvania. This story is true. You could research this if you want, if you're interested, after this video. And this is about Raymond Robinson, also known as Charlie No-Face, the Green Man. Raymond Robinson was born outside of Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, in 1910. And he passed away in June of 1985. In 1918, he was eight years old. And he was playing with his friends on the Morado Bridge outside of Beaver Falls. And this bridge, this bridge was a trolley bridge. The electric streetcars, trolleys went across it. Okay. So he was playing with his friends. And uh, what happened was there was a bird nest up on the uh, power line for the uh, streetcar, electric streetcar. And just drop my notes. Cut, take two. No, we're going on. So uh, he was playing with his friends. He's eight years old. He climbs up this, this pole to get this bird's nest that him and his buddy seen. Now, a year before that, a little boy died on that same bridge. Uh, the little boy was electrocuted to death. Well, Charlie No-Face, Mr. Raymond Robinson, he had a bad accident and he survived. However, his nose, both his eyes, and his right arm were burned beyond recognition. And you could see the photo in the uh, thumbnail of this video. So, there was anywhere from 1,200 to 22,000 volts at the time. Now, he was eight years old, he fell off, and he survived. Even back then in 1918, uh, apparently they had enough medical know-how, he survived. Spent several years in the hospital and, as I said, he was severely disfigured. As an adult, he lived with his relatives. And to make a, for a living, to make money, he made doormats, wallets, and belts to sell. That's what he did. Now, he only came out at night, and he walked along an old, old country road uh, outside of the town. And... Uh, Kids would, kids would come, teenager kids, you know, they had their driver's license. They would drive down the road looking for them. And there were two camps. There were the kids that made fun of them. Uh, but there were also the kids that would stop, give him cigarettes. Uh, you know, this is back in 1920s. Everybody smoked cigarettes back then. Give him cigarettes and give him beer. Uh. Kids would be out driving, you know, out in the country drinking beer. And they would stop, give Charlie some cigarettes and give him a couple cans of beer or bottles of beer, whatever the case. Probably bottles back then. So, where are we at here? Okay, now, he died at the age of 74 in 1985. And they were going to make a movie about him. 
and uh, the movie just just never came to be. I think this would have been a great, great movie. Would have been a fabulous movie. I can't believe, I can't believe they did not make this a movie. I just can't believe it. So, and he never deviated from this routine. Every night he would go walk down the country road. Now, once, once the, um, they put in better roads from downtown Pittsburgh to Beaver County, uh, super highways, you know, uh, expressways, whatever you call them in your neck of the woods, People would drive from Pittsburgh, 40, 45 minute drive to the town of Beaver Falls, uh, go down this dirt road and look for Charlie. People from the uh, Beaver Falls, Beaver County borders, Ohio, West Virginia. People from Ohio, West Virginia would drive uh, to Beaver Falls, stop in town, ask directions where this road was, go down the road and look for Charlie, bringing him once again. Uh, later later in life, when he was in his 60s and uh, 50s, people started bringing him cartons of cigarettes, and uh, which, you know, was pretty nice. But uh, if you're interested, Google Charlie No-Face, the green man. And... Uh, you could see some photos of him, but uh, just just was a legend, legend growing up. And we would talk about it as kids, and we didn't know, you know, we lived, oh my goodness, what, 20 minutes from Beaver Falls by car, so uh, we couldn't, we couldn't get there when we were real little, real little kids, and, but yeah, it was, it was the legend, man. He was he was the real deal. I never personally seen him, but uh, he did a big write up on him in the local paper, the Beaver County Times, in '85 when he passed away. Big write up, and uh, that's one of our unique char uh, characters here at Beaver County. Hope you found that interesting. We'll see you.